Hello everyone and welcome back to the FUBR channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to spawn in vehicles using weaponry in a match. So this works in custom games, it works in Halo 5 and it will work in Halo Infinite when it releases. So in the, in the Halo Infinite video that I recently released yesterday, um, I said that I could use a pulse carbine or a pulse rifle from Halo Infinite to spawn in any vehicle. In reality this works with any weapon and any vehicle. But for the purposes of the tutorial, we're going to stick to what I said. So if you come into your gameplay and you come down to go up to weapons, and I will get my carbine rifle here. Right, nice and simple, just your regular carbine. Uh, if you grab it and then come over to object properties and roll down to spawning, where it says order, um, this may seem a little uh, basic to begin with, but if you start scrolling through all the numbers and you get to 20, you'll see it tick over to spawning in a warthog. You can keep scrolling if you want a different vehicle, but that is all we need for now, and for the purposes of this tutorial, it will be a warthog. So if we back out of that, and we spawn in. You can spawn this weapon either just as a droppable item like this, or you can have it off the drop pad, whatever you see fit, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna hold it in our hand and swap out. So if we now shoot somewhere, uh, like this sign for example, we'll see the warthog spawns in. Um, it spawns in with fixed physics until you actually interact with it, just so it doesn't fall off the map or fall into a pitfall or something like that and get destroyed. And uh, the other unique thing with this feature is if you shoot it again, it despawns the vehicle. Uh, it does explode and leave a little bit of debris, but that can't really be helped. Um, but then if we shoot it somewhere else, we can spawn in another one, as you can see. And if we interact with this, like I said, we can drive this around, and uh, you can move around and you can essentially just pick the warthog back up by shooting it again. And there we are. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and this helped you out in Halo 5 and Halo Infinite when it releases. I uh, hope you use this feature to make some really cool maps. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay brilliant everyone. ta -ra. Hello everyone, Brandon here. The other neat thing about this, this, uh, this gun here is when you shoot the vehicle again, it despawns. Jack! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's this? I didn't touch it! What was it this? Uh, so, this tutorial is how to spawn vehicles with a weapon. So, I. Fuck, actually, fuck. I'm just gonna restart that. I just I stumbled over myself. You know, I'm just gonna just restart. Just Everything. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But this isn't a fluke, I promise you. Because if we come over here and we shoot this part of the floor, we can spawn in another warthog um, and we can drive it around. You know, what? If the physics won't fix, hold on. I feel like I should do that again. Because I, f I feel like I fucked up halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you spawn the warthog in that spawns down the bottom? The left, left side of stuff. Um, no. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it spawned over here. Okay. Is it because you moved it? Yeah, I think it. I think it's because I drove it. Yeah. I mean, I've got like five minutes, so we need to like get it. We need to like nail this, and then I need to like just leave. Okay. To get food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> oh, no. Isn't my body gonna be down there? Then we're gonna have to wait for it to despawn and the weapons too. Oh fuck! I didn't. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can just maybe I can just sweep that up with some objects. Hold on, let me just get I don't know. Sweep me up with some objects. Okay, get rid. Order you fuck off. Alright, okay. Okay, everything's despawned, so let's uh, let's go again, Jack. As as we're waiting for the tires to despawn to the actual skit, as I as I now know that there's gonna be a blooper reel and that you're all here after the video has ended. This is how we did it. We just had a rifle there, and it was a completely normal rifle, and then post have just changed the settings and how they look. But basically how it works is, one button spawns a warthog, one button despawns a warthog, and we just set up two different spawn points for warthogs, one on the wall and one not. And Jack was our stage operator who pressed all the buttons when they needed to be pressed, and just basically followed me from up here. And obviously my job was just to talk and not get him in camera so he couldn't be seen. Yep. ta -ra. All right, <laughs> I think we got it. Cool, brilliant. Have it been known, as you're now at the end of the video, that 
this was all a joke. And uh, it was quite fun to make. It, was. it took a little while, but it was quite funny. It was. <laughs> it was just great. Yeah. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later for real this time. Signing to our folks. <laughs> Hello everyone, Brandon here. We hope you enjoyed the video as much as we did making it. It would mean a lot to us if you subscribe to keep up with everything we make, so we can keep making it. Stay brilliant, everyone. Ta-ra.